Owning a Tesla is already fun and exciting, but if you implement these 10 tips in your daily ownership, you're gonna like it just that much more. In these next series of tutorial videos, you will learn new tips, become a more efficient driver, and learn to take full advantage of your Tesla. So let's get started. Number one, plan your charging stops. When planning your charging stops, take into account factors like distance to the next charging station, the time it takes to charge your car, and any potential delays on your route. Tesla superchargers are located at strategic points along major highways, making it easy to find a charging station when you need it. You can also use the in-car navigation system to find nearby charging stations and plan your route accordingly. Additionally, you can use level two chargers at places like hotels and malls, or if you have a CCS adapter, you can use fast charging stations like Electrify America. If you are going on a long trip, you can also use apps like PlugShare to plan your route out and customize your charging strategy. Number two, take advantage of regenerative braking. Regenerative braking is a key feature of Tesla vehicles and it's important to use to your advantage. By using regenerative braking, you can increase your car's range and reduce the amount of time you spend charging. You can adjust the regenerative braking settings in your car's menu to suit your driving style. When you use regenerative braking, you, for the most part, drive with one pedal, the accelerator pedal. At first, this can be a little bit strange, but after a while, it becomes, well, second nature. There are, of course, times when you will use your brake pedal, such as times when you need to stop faster than regenerative braking is able to do it. For example, about to miss a turn, someone cuts you off, something like that. Next up, use the Tesla mobile app. The Tesla mobile app is a powerful tool that lets you control many aspects of your car remotely. In addition to the features mentioned earlier, you can use the app to set the car's charging limit, check its location, and even start the car remotely. The app also provides real-time updates on your car's charging status and estimated range. Subscribe to the channel for an upcoming video on a full step-by-step -step guide for using that app. Next up, keep your Tesla software up to date. Tesla releases software updates on a regular basis, and these updates can improve your car's performance and add new features. Some updates can even improve your car's range or reduce charging times. You can check for updates in your car's menu and download and install them with Wi-Fi or cellular data. To get updates faster and be a part of the beta updates, go to your software tab and make sure that the updates are set to advanced. Just keep in mind that we don't really know exactly how Tesla rules out these updates. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you don't get one, but you get the next version of it that comes out and other people don't. So if that happens to you, don't worry about it. It's very normal. Next, set up a charging routine. Setting up a charging routine can be a great way to ensure that your car is always charged when you need it. You can set the start and stop times for charging using the car's touchscreen or the Tesla mobile app. You can also set the charging limit to ensure that your car doesn't overcharge. I recommend checking with your local power company to see if you have peak hours or off hours that may save you some money if you charge at certain times of the day. One great way to manage this is to download the OptiWatt app. While setting up your profile, they actually use the data from your power company to figure out when the best times for you to actually charge are. Take a second to look at the app. If you're interested, I got a link down below in the description where if you use my link, you'll actually get paid $5 to use this free app. Next, install a home charging station. If you have a garage or a parking spot, installing a home charging station can be a convenient way to keep your car charged. The Tesla wall connector is a popular choice as it charges your car up to 44 miles per hour. You can also install a standard level two charger which can charge your car up to 30 miles per hour. If you're taking delivery soon, I would recommend getting this done as quickly as possible. The last thing you want is to get your car home and not be able to charge it. I would also recommend using a certified electrician to get this done because if this is done wrong, your car will reject the charge and just simply not charge. Next, practice efficient driving techniques. Tesla vehicles are already designed for efficiency, but there are some driving techniques that can help you get even more out of your car. For example, accelerating and decelerating smoothly can help you conserve energy as can coasting to a stop instead of braking suddenly. You can also use your car's cruise control feature to maintain a steady speed on the highway, which can reduce energy consumption. I have a video coming up called five ways to drive your Tesla more efficiently. So be sure you subscribe so you see that video when it comes out. Next up, keep an eye on your tires. Tesla vehicles are heavy and this can cause uneven tire wear if the tires aren't rotated regularly. Make sure to check your tire pressure and rotate your tires every four to 5,000 miles. Now you won't find that in the Tesla manual or anywhere else, they'll say more like eight or 9,000 miles but I had to replace my tires at 13,000 miles because Les Rob won't even rotate them because they were so far gone. And they told me that that is pretty standard between 14 to 15,000 miles on a Tesla to have to completely swap out the tires. But if you would just rotate them every three to 4,000 miles, they should triple their life expectancy. And it's pretty easy to get your tires rotated. If you do it through Tesla, they can come to your house and do it for about 35 bucks, which is what I've done one time. Or if you bought tires through a company like Les Schwab, they'll rotate your tires for free. 
Also, there are tires that do work better with Teslas than others. Rather than putting the same tires back on my Model 3, Les Schwab recommended me a softer tire, which should get a lot more range. So we'll see how that works out. Next up, use Tesla Cam in Sentry Mode. Tesla Cam is a built-in dash cam that records footage from the car's cameras. Sentry Mode is a security feature that can detect and record incidents like break-ins or accidents. These features can provide valuable evidence in case of an incident and can also act as a deterrent against theft or vandalism. In a recent update that Tesla made to Sentry Mode, when somebody is walking by the vehicle, the front lights will now pulse, letting them know this car is being watched. I'll link my video down below for a full guide on this, but like all the other ones, I will be updating these videos shortly. And last up, familiarize yourself with Tesla's autopilot system. Tesla's autopilot features can assist with driving on the highway, but it's important to understand its limitations. Autopilot is not a substitute for paying attention to the road, and you should always be prepared to take control of the vehicle at any time. Make sure to watch the tutorial videos here on the channel to know exactly how to engage and disengage autopilot. Autopilot without any of the upgrades such as navigate an autopilot or full self-drive still come with some pretty awesome features and these are in all the vehicles. Obviously Tesla has things like sensors and adaptive cruise control, but the one system, the feature that makes Tesla stand apart from all the other cars that are working on this type of thing is their auto steer. With my recent cars that I've had that have this auto steer feature in them, if the corners got a little bit too tight or if the speed wasn't just right, they would turn off. But Tesla's auto steer is really good, allowing you to navigate at any speed, well, most speeds, as well as almost any turn radius it can handle. It's recommended to use right now on the highway, but it can be used in other situations as well. Just build your confidence up and figure out where you're comfortable actually using it. Thanks for watching these 10 beginner tips. In future videos, we'll dive deeper into a lot of these different systems, helping you master your Tesla and gain a lot more confidence. If you're new to the channel, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe and like this video so other people get a chance to see it. See you on the next one.